I think a lot of people build their mindsets around trying to feel good. So that's why we were talking earlier about people who want to uh, uh, ignore the idea of personal responsibility or self-accountability because they feel better if they pretend it's not a real thing. They feel better if they pretend everything's someone else's fault. A lot of people's mental model and how they view the world is based around them feeling as good as possible. So when you sit there and talk to somebody who has the mask on and they refuse to believe the, the elites are laughing at them, it's not because they can't comprehend the ideas. It's because they feel better if they don't believe that they are a clown to the elites. I feel better if this is really all innocent and it's really all about a disease. Mm -hmm. So people are try base, they're basing their mindsets around trying to feel good. I have always tried to base my mindset around absolute competence, regardless of how I feel. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> there are there are certainly disadvantages to that. There are times you're going to be a lot more pessimistic or you're going to be a lot more stressed or a lot more you know pissed off about certain things than others. Yeah, that can be seen as a downside. But like I said, I use all of those things for unlimited motivation to propel my endless upward trajectory. But if you construct a mindset that allows you to be as competent as possible, as opposed to feel any different or feel better, then you're going to naturally come to the conclusions I've come to. You're as competent as possible if you believe you can affect absolutely everything about your life. You're as competent as possible if you believe absolutely everything that's happened to you, whether good or bad, is completely your fault. You're as competent as possible if you believe the bad things that happen to you are going to allow you to work harder and become even better. When bad things happen to me, the first thing out of my mouth is good. Good. Andrew, they, they took $10 million out of the bank because they canceled you. Good. Good. That's just my response. Good. Andrew, this happened. Good. 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 Now, now I'm really pissed. Good. <laughs> like, like it's, it, that, this mindset I've constructed allows me to be as fearsome a competitor as possible. It allows me to be a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. And that's, that's the point of a mindset. Why would you have a mental model or a mentality that made you anything less? In the ultra competitive world that we've just discussed, discussing that everybody wants the things you have, why would you absorb information or construct a mental model that doesn't allow you to be as competitive as possible? I am a feared competitor in anything I do. Anyone who's up against me at anything is going to feel a degree of nervousness just because it's me.